Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So I just got home from work tonight and I'm gonna start digging a trench here from the workshop over to our house back there because we just got done putting in solar power here at the workshop and we just wanna get that power over to the house where we can use it. So I've got about 130 feet of trench to dig over there. We're gonna be digging somewhere around 18 to 24 inches deep. We've got a bunch of uh, PVC conduit that we're gonna be putting in the ground uh, to put our wire inside of. And hopefully I can do this without hitting the pole barn and damaging it or the house. But uh, I'm going to try to get this done in the evening after work. I've got three evenings to try to get this done before it rains. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make that timeline. So let's go ahead and start digging. So I ended up digging this trench till dark last night, probably uh, a little over an hour I ended up digging. So I think it turned out fairly well. The, the I'm kind of doing it by feel. I'd say I've got most of it every bit of two feet deep. So I may be a little bit too deep on some of it. You can tell that it is starting to fill up with water and that's just seeping in from the ground. It hadn't, it hadn't rained yet. So I know I'm probably gonna get the question on the positioning of the backhoe and why I have it at a like an angle of you know digging this trench and the reason is is because this is sloped right here and if I would have backed up straight to it the tire would have been sitting here and then the whole tractor would have been out of level right so that's the reason I'm over here because I'm on flat ground and I still have just enough room where I can swing over and dump the the dirt over on that side so that's been working good so 
the plan is I've been coming down the side of the workshop because I may put something out here later and I don't want this conduit to be under it. So now I've got to the point where I'm about to angle and head straight over to the house. So I may, I may dig this just a couple more feet out and then we're gonna turn and go that way. And I think I've got over half of it done right now. So we should be able to finish this up tonight. And then tomorrow night, I should be able to come back and put the conduit in the trench and maybe even get it covered up. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I think I'm about as far as I can go pulling forward with the tractor. I'm right up to the deck here. And this is the way I've been setting it up. I've been putting the, the bucket down to give me a little bit of stability and then putting the outriggers down as well. And uh, this is really hard clay. I mean, this is stuff as hard as a rock. Um, so I can't even oh, break a piece off, but that's how it comes out. I mean, it comes out, oh, there, I broke it in two. It's hard stuff that clay is. So it's been pretty tough to dig, to be honest with you. It's pretty hard stuff. So now I'm gonna take the tractor, reposition it, and I'll probably park the tractor right here and make sure the pivot pin for the backhoe is right over the trench. And we're gonna start digging that direction. And I want the trench to, to go under the deck. I want it to go under this deck a little ways so that the conduit comes up behind and under the deck where you don't see it. And each one of these posts has got like a three foot, two, at least a two foot pier of concrete under each one of these posts. So we gotta go and try to hit the middle here so that we don't hit any of the, uh, the concrete foundation for the porch. But uh, go ahead, reposition the tractor. And then we're gonna start basically digging sideways with the backhoe. And we'll just have to, you know, keep moving the tractor closer and closer to the house. But so far, so good. I definitely, I've, this, this side, I've kept a nice even bottom. I mean, I think that the depth on this side have done better than over here because I had some spots that were pretty deep on that side over there. So I think I'm doing a better job as I, the more I do this. Well, I didn't get quite finished last night. I, it got too dark where I couldn't exactly see what I was doing, but I got all the way over to the, the side of the, the porch. Now the bucket, this is, there's only about eight inches between that porch and the ground and I can't really get the bucket under there. That's proving to be difficult. And then where the two trenches come together, I've got a hump of dirt right here and I'm gonna have to try to get this removed and then I'm gonna try to dig under there a little bit. So the problem I'm having with the very end of this is I need to get the pivot pin of where that, um, where the backhoe turns left and right. I really need to have that over the trench and I didn't quite get it lined up. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but they're, they're a little bit out of alignment there. And to do that, I have to have my tire right on the edge and then one of the outriggers on the other side of the trench. And this is a this is a 16 inch wide bucket on this backhoe, that's what it came with. And that's a pretty far way to stretch that outrigger across there. So I'm, I'm finding it, it's a little hard to position the tractor so that I can kind of make these two trenches meet each other. But uh, we'll go ahead, it got just too dark last night to see what I was doing. We'll go ahead and uh, see if I can get the tractor back in here today and see if we can finish this up. Now, luckily the weather forecast has changed. I thought it was gonna rain tomorrow 
and I wanted to get the conduit done by tonight. And it looks like the weather's gonna be a little bit better, so I've got a little extra time. That's good. <laughs> Don't hit the wrong pedal, or you about to go through the garage door. Well, I think I'm done digging with the backhoe. It's not the straightest trench in the world, but it is connected and it's definitely wide enough that I'll be able to get my conduit through there and up and underneath the porch. And I also wasn't able to get all the dirt in there. There's a couple small piles of dirt, but it is all loose dirt that was just kind of moving around. So I think I'll be able to just take a shovel and scoop out these two small piles or I can maybe just level them out and it'll probably be fine. And I was able to dig under the porch about a foot, uh, a lot better than I thought I was gonna do. So I couldn't have the backhoe too close. I had to basically get like arms length so I could kind of reach up under there and scoop that dirt back. But I did hit the porch a little bit. I got the side of the bucket here. I dinged up that wood just a little bit. It's not terrible. I also hit the deck, deck boards right here a little bit. But overall, that's still better than having to dig this by hand. So I did this all by feel. Oh my goodness, I was way deep. I was shooting for 18 to 24 inches and I am almost three feet deep. I, I removed way more dirt than I needed to. So I would have done better off if I would have had somebody out here measuring as I dug to keep me digging the right depth because I probably got, to, got this done a lot faster if I wouldn't have dug out an extra foot of dirt, that's for sure. So on this end of the trench, it's definitely filled up with water and it hasn't rained. This is all just groundwater. It actually looks like nice clear water, but there's at least six inches of water in the bottom there. And then I got really deep right here. I wanna see how deep this is. This may be four feet deep. Oh, I'm very close to four feet deep. About 44 inches, 45 inches. Man, I, I removed way too much dirt. And that's kind of obvious, I think, from the whole pile sitting right next to the trench. I did measure it out beforehand, and I think it's somewhere close to 130 feet. So quite a bit dug. Did take me basically probably three and a half hours to dig all this. Of course, I went apparently three to four feet deep, way deeper than, than I needed to. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'll probably go ahead and end this video because by the time I get the conduit in the hole, covered up and get the wire pulled in it that'll probably be a whole video in itself right there and um, so i think uh, i think that's going to be it for this video um, it will be interesting to get this covered up and you know get it looking good again right because i mean we removed a ton of dirt a ton of dirt so this is going to look a little it may be tricky, you know, just to get everything packed down. This clay does not pack. I've all, every time I've ever dug a hole in this clay dirt, five years later, you can still tell exactly where it was because it just doesn't seem to go back in the hole and pack back down. And it settles 
like over the next couple of years and then you end up with a big divot in your yard where it used to be. So we'll see what we can do to get this all packed in here, but we're gonna save that for another video. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next one.